Welcome back to our final video of our five videos in the mini series. And in this video, we're going to be talking through how I like to develop match play skills in our younger junior players, in particular, eight and under. <laughs> So let's see how I get the little ones playing matches. Just like the ability to rally, children playing competitions gives them hours of fun. Not only does it give them fun on a tennis court, it also gives them the opportunity to learn how to win and how to lose, both equally as important as each other. Now, competition doesn't have to be serious, it doesn't have to be scored in the traditional way. There are lots of different ways that you can do it, and we'll be starting right now on my first progression. Learning how to play matches is quite difficult for adults, so when teaching children how to play matches, there's a lot to it. First of all, they need to understand the boundaries of the court and what is in and what is out. The next step is learning how to score. So before using rackets and before even using a tennis net, we're simply going to play what I call a catch match in this tiny little square at the back of the court. So I've got my brother Wilson. Wilson, if you come over. So some of you would have seen my other brother Buddy in my last video. I've actually got four brothers, so um, I'm gonna work my way through them. But this is Wilson, he's the, uh, the third in line. Now, Wilson, I'm gonna throw the ball up. It's gonna bounce somewhere in the square. You're gonna catch it and throw it back. As soon as the ball leaves the boundaries of the square, whoever misses it, the other player has to shout out. So here we go. Out. Out. Okay, so I made the first mistake. Wilson wins the point, so Wilson's score is one. My score is zero. So Wilson's going to start the next one. Out. Ah, I'm not very good at this game. Okay, so again, I missed the box. Wilson scored a point. The score is two, zero. So as you can see, it's quite a basic way for children to understand the boundaries of a certain area, what is in and what is out, and how to score a point in tennis. The next stage after our initial catch match is to start to introduce the net. So we're going to play exactly the same game, but this time we've got to try and throw the ball over the net into our opponent's square. So we, as you can see, we've got quite a small area so the children can find success straight away. So they're going to stand behind their square and they're going to be ready to catch. Off we go. So throwing and catching over the net, trying to keep going until our opponent misses the boundary of the court. Okay, so now there's another way to win the point. If the ball goes into the net, your opponent wins the point. Wilson's doing pretty well here, so one love to Wilson. There is another way, and we're also going to introduce the double bounce this time. So if a player sees the ball bounce twice before it's caught, they're going to call double bounce. Double bounce. It's not that quick. It was a double bounce. So again, Wilson wins the point. It's pretty good, isn't it? This next step is quite a jump. So there may be ways in between the last progression and this progression to try to marry them together. But we're now going to introduce a racket. We're also going to introduce a serve. So we're going to use the first progression of serves from the first video, which is the scoop serve. So I'm going to stand behind the line. I'm going to scoop the ball over to my partner or my opponent, Wilson. And we're going to play a point. I'm trying to keep it within the boundaries of the court. I'm going to beat him for once. Here we go. As you can see, I'm just using the simple first progressions of bounce and tap on my forehand, bounce and tap on my backhand. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't done the volley. Maybe that's for another video. As that progression is quite a big jump, it might be worth on the previous progression, without using a racket, starting the point with an overarm throw to replicate the serve. So in your catch match, you can start with an overarm throw and then get into the rally. Another way you can break things up in between the catch match and the hit match is to have one player hitting and one player catching. So, Wilson, you're going to use your racket. I'm going to be the person that's throwing and catching. So I will start with an overarm throw. Wilson will hit it over the net and I will catch it. And we're playing a point now with one hitter and one catcher. I'm going to make him run forwards. Yes. And the same as before, you win the same way. Double bounce. He spotted it that time. And then you can swap. So I would use the racket, and Wilson would use his hands. 
That's a nice way to break things up in between those two progressions. As you can see there, matches don't have to be formal. They don't have to have huge courts and proper scoring systems. We've got a tiny little tennis court and we'll be using very basic progressions, but you can see how a younger junior player can find success quite early on. Now, I hope you enjoyed those progressions. If you did, make sure you like, and if you've got any questions about it or if you've got any other ways that you like to work on match play skills, let me know in the comments below. But um, make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Take care.